Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 116. Yeah, just double checking. Uh, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 The Sith Lords. And uh, we just landed on Dantooine. We were, we, we were mistaken for uh, salvagers because the Ebon Hawk looks like a piece of junk. The Ebon Hawk doesn't look like a piece of junk. All right, before we go talking to people, first things first, let's do a quick look for any uh, barrels or containers that are in need of uh, of clearing. Yeah, because we, we want to make sure that we're, we're kind and um, that we, we clear the clutter from any barrels or chests that happen to be around the ship. So let's grab our 200 credits out of there, which will come in handy. Impossible. Uh, hmm. All right. I might come back to that one. Anytime I see something like that, I know I know I can get through. I can, you know, I can always blow it open too. But I'm not sure what the consequences will be and that is one of the nice things about Star Wars uh, especially with the Knights of the Old Republic games they made sure that uh, uh, they made sure that there were consequences to just about everything you did uh oh what do you want I don't have time for cursed salvagers uh <laughs> I'm a Jedi. Show me re respect my authority. No. Uh. Why so busy? Can't you tell? I'm a mechanic. No, fact, I can't I'm tell. I'm the only mechanic here in Kunda. Oh. I'm responsible for maintaining everything mechanical or electrical at the Kunda outpost. Okay. Sounds like you have a lot on your shoulders. Yeah, sometimes it seems nothing works around here, but I don't have time to complain. Too much work to do. Mm hmm. Uh. All right. Seems like I'm getting a lot of options to find out what exactly is going on. So let's go ahead and try it. I took Force Persuade in case I needed it. I don't use it every time the option pops up. So let's go with uh, the regular Persuade. Tell me. You're right. Hmm. Well, between the droids, the security doors, and the gun turrets, I have my hands full. You're, uh... You having trouble with the droids? All of the droids in Kunda are relics from the last war. Oh. Most of them are damaged and rusted. The best I could do was get that ratchety old protocol droid over there operational so it could greet visitors. Hmm. Most of the other droids are laying broken around Kunda outpost. Uh, what's wrong with the doors? Well, it's just one door, actually, but I could scratch my head bald before I figured out how <laughs> to fix it proper. Problem is... Is that what happened? Side security door to Kunda was damaged in the war. Every time oh. I try to fix it, the door either sticks open or it locks down completely. And then I have to spend a week taking it apart to get it to open or close again. Okay. What about the... Uh, we already asked about the droids. What about the turrets? The gun turrets outside the Kunda outpost are supposed to defend against potential assaults. Wild critters and the like. Mm -hmm. But they only work half the time. Sometimes they get confused oh. as to one's friend okay. and foe. Why, just the other day, right after... I get a funny feeling I know guns, what's about to happen. Turned on us. So We've already been warned by the administrator that there's a bunch of mercenaries on this planet. No casualties, but it put several the game's been giving lab. you a I lot of opportunities to choose light and dark side. So, uh... I get a funny feeling before long we're going to be pressured to side with the mercenaries and attack the outpost, or side with the outpost and defend it from mercenaries. Alright, uh, so we asked about the doors, we asked about the doors, let's, uh, what about something else? Is this going to take long? I'm busy, you know. I can tell. Uh, tell me about the salvagers. Uh, salvagers are a crazed lot of treasure hunters. Looking to and you think I'm one of them? From the Look at me. Of the Look at this enclave. face. Most Under of the them mask. End up broke or dead. If you ask me, anything of value that was in the enclave has already been plundered. Uh, what do you know about the enclave? Nothing but rumor. 
They say the spirits of the angry dead haunt the room. The spirits of the angry dead Quiet Jedi. Night, you can hear the ghosts howling and scraping around. They, they, they haunt in a very pretty blue. They mostly talk at you, though. Only in movies we try not to reference do they actually use a force power. Alright, uh, so who are they? Oh, you know folks around Kunda. Mm -hmm. Go there yourself and get the details firsthand. Oh, I was trying to get information, you know, before I talked to the people firsthand. Alright. Something this else. Take long. I'm busy, you know. I can tell. Uh, why are... What, what are the mercenaries doing here? Not sure what they're doing here other than causing trouble. Oh, There's I mean... really much work here for mercenaries. Oh, really? Maybe they're here to collect the bounty on that Jedi. Uh... There's a Jedi here? I don't know for sure, but that's what they say. Uh, who's they? Oh, you know. Oh, okay. So, so more scuttlebutt. The details gotcha. Find the Kunda yep, no Jedi here. Port. Nope, no Jedi. Okay. Is this gonna take long? I'm nope. busy, you nope. know. Nope, no Jedi. All right, salvagers, mercenary, busy. All right, I guess I'll be going. Hmm. All right, we'll get to the droid last. I want to talk to... Oh, is that a lootable? Oh, that is a lootable. How did I miss that? Hello, lootable. What you got? Okay. It's not much, but I'll take it. All right, let's talk to him first, and then we'll talk to the Footlocker. I give you greetings, human. So many visitors come to Kunda. New faces arrive all the time. Sad that all too often turmoil and strife bring the humans here. I am Pato Auto, an ecologist and xenobiologist. I wait transport off this planet to rejoin my herd. I have explored much of the, in this planet, but I am anxious to depart. Uh... What are you doing on Dantooine? I was sent to catalog the natural resources of this planet. A fascinating planet filled with life. Until the Sith bombed it to the... Oh, oh wait, no, no. But even nature is troubled here. The ecosphere's balance has been lost. Without correction, the planet will falter in time. Uh, how can it be corrected? It's difficult to say. Ecosphere forces are hard to disrupt, but sentience have terrible power. You ser seriously, you're going to give us an environmentalist lecture in the middle of a Star Wars game? Okay. Uh, what's so unusual about the Kenrith's behavior? Kenrith are common to several worlds where they are well known for burrowing and nesting, but here they swarm. The tunnels near here appear to be the center of their anomalous behavior. Ooh. Okay. Uh, why are you anxious to... Oh. Why, why do I have a random question about asking for cards? Let me get there in a minute. Oh, uh, the wait for my herd ship has been long. I am eager to return to Telos. Ah, uh, bad news for you there. <laughs> I have taken up a curious recreation known as Bazaag. Much time has passed and I made many friends, but now the humans no longer play with me. You win a lot, don't you? Are you a shark? I do not completely understand. When I was learning, they are eager to play for small amounts of credits. Now that I enjoy and know the game, no one will play. Dude, I, 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 got, I hate to break it to you. Oh, he even offered a wager of rare components, but even in a while, that wasn't enough. I do not suppose you have a Pazak deck and an inclination to pass time with me. Um, ooh. Can I play for the armor components? I mean, look, I've been trying not to do much with Pazak. But, uh, what about the armor components? I like armor components. You are? That's good to hear. Unfortunately, I save my ar armor components for special games. Perhaps after a few hands? Alright, I see what you're doing here. We could play for 250 credits a game if you'd like. Uh, you got any cards I should buy? I mean, could buy. Okay, plus or minus one isn't bad. I don't have a whole lot of credits. Plus or minus six is a really good buy. 
I, I really want to get things that uh, have a lot of utility, like flip two and four. Yeah, it does sound like I should save. Don't don't think I'm not going to as soon as this conversation's over and before we play. Um, okay, so 200 credits for the plus or minus one and only 50 credits for the plus or minus six. Uh, although that is a little more useful. Uh, that is a little more affordable. Although, one game's winnings, and I'll make that money back. Hello, Vegas. I I would uh I I would like to I I hear I hear I can beat the house. Right? Can I not? Can I not? Isn't that how Vegas works? It was made to be busted by amateurs like me. All right, game saved. So you're back to talk, yada yada. Uh, let's play a hand of Pazak. I am looking forward to this next match. No, you're not. Don't lie to me. I don't like it when people lie to me. All right, let me get rid of this plus five. And add this plus or minus six. Uh, I thought I had another plus or minus here that, uh, yeah. Okay, I forget what that card did. Oh, doubles the value of the last card you're dealt. That's a good one to have. And subtracts or adds one free game score and that allows you to win tied games. That's a good one to have. Um, I thought I had another plus. Oh, yeah, I got a plus or minus four. So let me get rid of the minus four, add the plus or minus four. Uh, so I got a plus or minus six, plus or minus three and four, plus or minus two, plus or minus three. Let me get rid of this plus two and add a plus or minus one. And now let's take out the flat plus four and add in that other plus or minus one. Yeah, that, that's a lot more flexible than what I've been playing with, so... Here we go. Here we go. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure, but that's what we're going with. Oh, we didn't even get to the how much do you want to wager. We're totally right at, um, at, at, uh, 250. Okay, Casino Royale. Ooh. Uh, that's right, because this is 420. Uh, I don't want to go burning through my deck yet, so let's go ahead and take our chances on another card. Are you kidding me? Let's try one more. 18. Uh... Let's stand. Ah, oh, you bum. Of course you got the perfect card. Alright, let's take that. Oh, oh, he's got 20, huh? Um. Well, I can tie him, which keeps the game going a little bit longer, although that takes my plus or minus 6 out of the equation. That also means I don't fall further behind. All right, let's end the turn. 15. Uh, hit me one more time. Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, do I want to go ahead and burn another card? Although he's, he's digging deeper into his side deck than I have. Let's go ahead and pop it at 20 and watch him either bust or match. Oh, you bum. Are you kidding me? Hacks. Cheat. Show me your sleeves. I heard that's how this dude lost his ship. Oh wait, no. That's not for a few more thousand years. And I think that's a different game too. Uh... Fine. I'll tie it.
Come on. Why can't you give me the good cards? Alright, let's stand and hope he goes over. Oh, you bum. Alright. Yeah, there's no winning. I've been defeated. Yeah. Okay. I'll be going now. Loot game. You know, I'll, I'll try playing silly card games with you a little bit later. Hmm, a rocket. Oh! Are you kidding me? Oh. I didn't realize that was yours. Hmm. Fine. Greetings and good day, traveler. On behalf of the Kunda settlement, I am programmed to welcome you to Tatooine. Uh, yes, I see. <laughs> yes, I see that droid is malfunctioning. Droid, how did you become so damaged? Very observant of you, T3. Chirping. Any idiot can see the droid is damaged. Well, that is true. Let's congratulate T3. Okay, whatever that means. Droid, what happened to damage you? My apologies. I have no recollection of the Sith invasion topic. Wait a second. Um... Apparently you recall something. Error. Memory overflow. Resetting. May I be of any further service to you? Uh, what can you tell? All right. Uh, hmm. Now let's start up the skill. Processing exterior damage analysis level seven impairment. Multiple hmm. casing breaches detected. Bipedal servos misaligned by thirty-two degrees. Memory storage overflow. Memory unit is approximately 56 months overdue for Look, I got a dude here that can help you with that. Alright, uh, let's do the repair. Error. Memory overflow. Resetting. May I be of any further service to you? Alright, uh, let me try that again with Bowder, but let's do the rest of this first. What can you tell me Dantuin about Dantooine? is a rural world, far removed from most galactic trade mm -hmm. Historically... Agriculture has been Dantooine's primary industry. Since the destruction of the Jedi Enclave, salvage of the ruins has become a key area of growth for the local community. Uh, what do you know of the ruins? The famed ruins of the Jedi Enclave can be found northwest of the Kunda outpost. You may visit the ruins at your own risk. <laughs> Zeron strongly urges salvagers to avoid the highly dangerous sublevel of the Enclave ruins. Is that where people fall on lightsabers mysteriously? All right. Uh, how the how did the enclave come My to be apologies. ruined? I have no recollection of the Sith invasion topic. All right. Never mind. We'll get May back I to that. Be any further service to you? Uh, is there any work available? The local militia occasionally offers employment to qualified soldiers. Speak to Zeron. In the okay. That's some options there. Many visitors come to Kunda to explore the ruins for salvage opportunities. Mm. Salvage? Kunda's salvage industry is a main source of <laughs> income for the local community. At their own risk, salvagers may remove relics from designated salvage areas within the ruins. Okay. Uh, wait a second. So you can just walk into the ruins and take anything you wish? The fee to remove a relic from Dantooine uh, is proportionate okay. to the appraised value of the item. I bet. Speak to Administrator Terena Adare. Could I check the weights that he uses to measure? Alright, I want to talk about something else. May I be of any further service to you? Uh, what are the local areas of interest? The main area of interest for visitors is the Kunda Outpost. There you will find the local officials who preside over the Dantooine colony. Administrator Terena Adare and Militia Leader Zeron. Okay. Zeron strongly urges salvagers to avoid I the bet he does. 
of the Enclave ruins. Well, I bet that's where the good stuff is. Why is that? Due to reduced militia manpower, okay. several dangerous beasts overpopulate the more rural areas of Tatooine. Yeah, that's right, because it's been five years in the game time since somebody was last year uh, culling the calf hound herds. Uh, alright. Where's the Kunda Outpost? The Kunda Outpost is just outside okay. this landing facility. May I be of any further service to you? Yet why were you walking around in circles? I am conducting my appointed rounds. May I <laughs> be of any further service to you? Uh, running around in circles. If conducting you your rounds. Me, I must continue my appointed rounds. Alright, let me go grab somebody with an actual repair score. And talk to the droid. And good day. May I be of any further service to you? Run. Processing. Exterior damage analysis. Level seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Multiple cases. Please tell me you're going by about your repair score. Degrees. Memory storage overflow. Memory unit is approximately fifty six months overdue for maintenance. He also looks like the droid. Uh Greetings. There we go. Oh, oh. Welcome back to Hey. Did that droid just call you a Jedi? Uh, no. No, he didn't. May I be of further service to you, Jedi? No mistake about it. That droid is calling you a Jedi. Nope. Nope. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be a hard persuade. This droid is obviously malfunctioning. Do I look like a Jedi standing here in my Jedi robes with my Jedi mask? Don't answer that. All right, let's try the persuade. Yeah, sure you do. I've got to tell the others. Ah, oh, doggone it. Okay. How did that persuade not? Oh, oh, because that's the flip side of it. Okay. We we went off of uh, Bowder's persuade instead of my own, and his persuade is Bupkis. <sighs> Well, turnarounds and roundabouts. May I be of any further service to you? Uh, why did you call me Jedi? My memory banks recognize you as a Jedi. You can't there remember the war, but Jedi you recognize me as a Jedi. Here at the Enclave, prior hmm. to its destruction during the Sith invasion. How fortunate for me. Uh, you know of me specifically? You are on the register. As one of the Jedi who left the Enclave to fight in the Mandalorian Wars. Oh, okay. My memory has no record of your return before now. Hmm. Tell me about the invasion. Approximately five years ago, the Dark Jedi Malak and his Sith fleet assaulted Dantooine. Hmm. The surprise of the initial orbital bombardments prevented any resistance from the surface. The attack destroyed much of the Jedi Enclave, leaving only the sublevel partially intact. The Sith attack also concentrated heavily on some obscure ruins to the south, but the reason for this is unknown. Uh, what do you know about me specifically? You are on the register as one of the Jedi oh. who left the Enclave to fight in the Mandalorian Wars. My memory has no record of your return before now. Is that all? You had no direct interaction with this droid. However... I have one instance of a conversation between Masters Rook and oh, Magnar regarding... really? Tell me more. Beginning playback. Error. Recording partially corrupted. Resolving. Today I caught him in a heated argument with my Padawan. His master refuses to properly discipline. I want to know what action you intend. Oh. Rook, I respect your wisdom, but it is not your concern. But... <laughs> Uncontrolled. Whatever the other Padawans see him do, they are quick to do the same. Other students dislike him intensely. True. An average student of the Force, but with a unique strength. He's a natural leader. Hmm. I strongly disagree. Mediocre Jedi. Lust for power. Will lead to the dark side. Okay. Furthermore, in... Hmm. Recording degraded. And yeah. May I be over any further service? I, I notice it cuts out all the places where it would actually say my name. Uh, okay. I'll be going now. If you will excuse me, I must 
must continue my appointed rounds. I think everybody's about to be mad that I'm a Jedi running around now. I mean, I guess I could back it up and try to do that again, but honestly, at this point, there, there's no... I'm not going to worry about it. I was really hoping to not... not let everybody know that I'm a Jedi. Let's see if he's uh, actually got the word around yet. Uh, there is the estate. Uh, you look like you probably have a fellow traveler. Are you far from your home world? Yeah, honest trader, huh? <laughs> I mean, that is what I'm thinking. Every trader says they're honest, especially the dishonest ones. All right, uh, what do you sell? Droid components, build droids. Hmm. Yeah, I bet. Whatever he said. Yes, T3. I'm sure he has upgrades you can use. Can I see what you got? Hmm. Alright, construction kits, repair kits. Uh, oh! Hey, there's the uh, HK Vocabulator, if we hadn't already completed that. I do like that they set this up, so that way no matter which order you did the planets, you'd get HK about the same time, because you would have run into enough of those parties of HK assassins and uh, in this too. So that is kind of nice. Uh, impact? No. No. Dash plating? No. Um, fighting upgrade. Attack, defense, awareness. Eh. I've already got that. I don't need that. Uh, nope. Molten cannon. Oh, I've already got three in inventory. Flamethrower. Nah. You're all screwed. No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Nothing worth buying, but good to know. Alright, uh... Hello, Mr. Militia. This door is blocked off. Yeah. Alright, shall we, uh, spend a moment to fill in the map a little bit first? Sure, let's fill in the map a little bit first. We've got a defense turret. Turret appears old and worn. Yeah, we're going to get a chance to do something about that before too long. Oh, okay. They did a pretty good job of uh, getting this set back up where you would normally be for uh, from the first Knights of the Old Republic. I mean, if we're being honest, they, they did a pretty good job of reusing a lot of the textures and models from the first one anyway, since this is supposed to be a continuation. And you are supposed to have done a few things. Um, oh, that's right, because I don't have the... Uh, How do you like that? I guess I should... Uh, Switch to melee, huh? I should have done that before. Uh, there we go. I'll have to remember to change that when I go back into the administrator's office. Don't let me forget. Oh. Speaking of, uh, don't let me forget. Let me, uh, save the game real quick. And take us to a break. Because it's been... <laughs> We're a little overdue. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. 
because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a little value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.